Hey everyone, I'm Sophia with Awaken Catholic, and this is Awaken the Saint. Gatinus was born in the third century, ordained a priest, and eventually brought Christianity to Tours, France. He and six other bishops were sent from Rome to evangelize and share the gospel. With devotion and obedience, Bishop Gatinus set out for Tours. The road to establishing a diocese proved to become quite a difficult matter. It was proving to be so straining that for a time, Bishop Gatinus lived in a nearby cave where he would only leave to preach in the city when opportunities arose. The hearts of those in the area slowly grew in relationship with God, and after nearly 50 years of two steps forward and five steps back, a diocese was established and an abbey was built from the bishop's cave. Bishop Gatinus became the first bishop of Tours and passed away after many long years sometime in the early 4th century at the very hospice he had established outside the city. Unfortunately, with the death of this loved bishop also died the faith of his flock. A new bishop wasn't elected to carry the torch he had fought so long to establish in Tours, and the diocese remained in the dark for the next 36 years. When a new bishop was finally appointed, there was hardly any Christians left in Tours. All that remained were stories of the beloved Bishop Gatinus, who it was said had brought the gospel they had no longer understood. Tours remained stagnant and lost faith until the arrival of another familiar face of our story, St. Martin of Tours. He was able to restore the faith of Tours after he was elected the next bishop. It may seem like today's saint didn't do his job properly as a shepherd. At first glance, it appeared that he showed up to a foreign land and became simply another influencer who didn't actually ignite the faith of the people. He failed. His mission was a bust. And his only legacy was that the people of Taurus at least remembered the good bishop. The truth is, he actually did exactly what God needed of him. St. Gatinus did the work of a humble servant and laid the foundation for a vibrant diocese of faith. Even if his death was accompanied by a dormant diocese, they never completely lost the flames of faith. This saint became the small kindle that might have died down to embers, but even the embers are just waiting for the right kindling to regain the flame. We're all called to sow the seeds in God's vineyard as baptized Christians. Sometimes the ministry that we run or the various efforts of evangelization are met with what seem like failure for a time. But what we don't see is how God is working in the individual's heart. We should always be striving to pour what God has given us into the hearts of those around us, while also recognizing that we might not see the fruits of our labors. Truth is the kindling that we all need and will always ignite us on fire with the Holy Spirit. Sometimes it just takes a bit of time to catch the right gust of wind. St. Gatinus, pray for us. Thank you for tuning in to Awaken the Saint. Awaken the Saint is made in partnership by Spoke Street Media and Awaken Catholic.